Welcome back, everyone. We had to switch sides, so I'm cooking today, so <laughs> sorry, everybody. We've got Chef Gay joining us uh, with Tony Sashery. She's going to be walking us through a fun Cinco de Mayo recipe just in time for Cinco de Mayo. So good morning yes, to you. Yes, I'm going to show you how to do an easy recipe using some of Tony Sashery's mixes. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be using this red bean and rice mix. All you do is, so this is this would be perfect for you. Okay. All you do is dump it in the pot. Oh, a little, with, little shade little this morning. Yeah. Just dump it in the pot. Do it now? No, no. We're not oh. going to cook this. We've already okay. cooked it. It's right here. We're going to make the enchilada sauce right now. Okay. So we're going to use a canned sauce, but we've got to, you know, you got to pick it up a bit because you can't just use a can by right. itself. Right. you got to make it fancy. So we're making a little roux out of some butter and some flour, just a light little thickening roux. Okay. And you stir that really well, and then we're on TV, so we're going to move a little faster. We're going to go super mode. What's next? So next we're going to put in the enchilada sauce, and you want to use a big can. Mm. And get the best brand you can. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be good. See how it's sizzling? I love that. Love, and then love, we're going to put a little bit of chicken broth in it. Mm -hmm. And you just stir that up really, really fast. Um, fast. So I'm going to be making these enchiladas while you're doing the sauce, okay? Okay. You go take it away. I think okay. I can manage stirring. So first, we're going to dip this uh, to Tortilla, I'm sorry. Um, okay, in so the dip sauce. it in there, get it a little, get some sauce on there. Okay. And this is the red beans and rice mixture. Mm. See, it, and it was so easy, it only took like 20 minutes on the stove. So just mixing it up instead of regular rice, throw in some red beans and rice, make it a little Louisiana. Yes, but I the like red it. beans come in the rice, mm -hmm. so it's all packaged together. Perfect. Then we're going to put some chicken on here, mm -hmm. little chicken. You can put anything on Mexican food, right? You told right. me you loved it. I um, do, it's my favorite, it's so <laughs> bad, and you have it at almost 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thank we you will for eat that. This. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, we're going to use some no salt seasoning on here because it has a, you know, it's got a lot of sodium in the sauce and, and the beans. So okay. I love this new no salt seasoning. Try to make amazing. it a little bit healthier. And then we're going to put a little cheese on here. Um, so we've got all our Tony's goodies in here. You're going to roll, roll it, it up. up and then you're going to put it in your casserole dish. So this recipe makes six servings. Oops, okay. a little messy. And then um, we have our sauce ready. So we're going to pour that on top. Okay. I'll do that. You, yeah. I don't want to mess up your pretty dress. Oh, so you're you. going to pour your sauce on top of the enchiladas. So simple. Cover it with cheese and some onions. Don't you love this? It's a great recipe. Yes, it extra is. cheese, please. Um, the Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the extra cheese, please. Um, and you can top it off with some jalapeno peppers and uh, onions, like I did over here on the finished product. Here's and a little onion you for you. There you go. Look at you. Go, girl. I know what I'm doing a little bit. A little <laughs> bit. I can do more than just a pack. Oop. So, um, and then you're going to bake this in the oven for about 30 minutes and 350 degrees. And I want you to taste it. It's Finished product. All right, Jaren, you have to come join the say, tasting. Did, you, did someone say taste? So oh. I couldn't fit anything else on the table I got, today, I but got Kevin a spoon so this is ah. something fun you can try at home. Okay, yeah, we're and also it's very economical and it's great for kids. Kids love these kind of dishes, and you can get them to help you in the kitchen as well. Okay. So um, <laughs> I didn't know how to like. I didn't know how to do it. Here, take the plate. Okay, I'll take the plate. You, you guys, it's delicious. Now. I suggest you try it at home this weekend. Yes. As Chef Gay said, very simple, very quick. It has a little Louisiana flair, which we always love to yeah, add. Yeah, red beans and rice uh, enchiladas. We love having Chef Gay on in a morning. All right, we're going to eat some enchiladas and take a quick break, but first coming up, crowning a king. The title of Crawfish King is 